us out there. I hope everybody's doing well and you are abiding with the government's contingency plans, um, its strategies to curb COVID-19, the containment strategies. Please make sure that when you get out there, you wear your mask, you wash your hands and abide by the social distancing two meter rule. Um, today is a very good special day and um, we have in our midst one special guest in the name of Mrs. Mary Eyisi Buedu. She has a very colorful accolade and you might want to check that out. So stay tuned and listen to what she's got for us all. We have to learn something from her today, otherwise we're not allowing her to go. Yeah. So when we say Mary A.C. Bwedu, who is Mary? Mary A.C. Bwedu, um, I'm an um, investment banker. I've been in the banking industry um, for over 25 years, mainly in syndicated bilateral and agency loans. Wow. I... I'm currently into FX trading, um, money market and so transactions, okay. mainly in management. Um, I'm also an author, so I have four books to my credit and I wow. do financial coaching as well. Okay. So I help people to come out of debt and then to build wealth through saving and investments. Okay. So preparing people, you know, changing their mindsets you know from negative into positive so that they can change whatever is going on within them change their financial situations and then it reflects on their children and then their children will also teach their children's children so what i'm trying to do is to help people also help their generations so we are trying to eradicate poverty or debt from our bloodline, right. so we can have a better future. Good show. Did you, did you hear that? This is very classic, you know? And please stick and stay. Don't go away because there are more um, information coming your way. So I just want to ask you, before banking, what were you doing? Before working in the bank, um, I was actually studying banking. <laughs> So um, I studied banking, um, I started off with banking certificates and then I moved on to the associateship side. So um, I'm not sure, ACIB, so it's the associate of the Chartered Institute of Bankers. Okay. So that is the, um, the main professional um, qualification for banking. Oh, I see. So, so I was studying, actually, studying before studying. I started working in the bank, yeah. Okay, yeah. so before before studies, what were you doing? Were you, or you just, what were you doing before you started studying your international banking? Uh, before did, studying, did you do international banking? I did international banking and finance with my master's. Oh, so okay. when I did my that master's, the master's. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. the master's level, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so before the banking, before, you, before, yeah, yeah, I was actually, that, yeah, I was, I was actually abroad. So mm -hmm. when I came to the UK, I went straight into the banking course. Oh, okay. So I studied the banking and then started my first job with Barclays Bank in London. Yeah. Fantastic. So your first job was Barclays, Barclays Bank. Barclays Bank, yeah. So how many jobs have you had over the years? I've worked with Barclays, um, with Barclays for about seven, eight years. Okay. And then we were made redundant. So Barclays, mm -hmm. um, they moved to Birmingham. Okay. So the whole department went to Birmingham. Right. And we were given the option of moving with the job. But mm -hmm. nobody wanted to take that offer. So we all took that redundancy. And then we moved on. And I worked with um, Close Property Finance. All right. I worked with um, other international banks. Um, there was Ali United Bank, Bank Nigara, Indonesia. Okay. Um, I worked for 
bank sepa which is an iranian bank okay and then after that i worked for lois banking group in the city i worked for hsbc in canary wharf wow i worked for mm -hmm. wells fargo bank mm -hmm. and now i'm with a different bank so it's about six different banks yes <laughs> how, how, how different how different in sort of your processes yes. in working with each of the banks what, what, was it the same sort of uh, position that you had or different positions different um, departments some of them are same um, it's either properties or loans so it's syndicated bilateral agency loans so it's the okay. same com concept but different banks different banks yeah but in the city it's like everything is more international so mm -hmm. you deal with international clients international um like different different people from different backgrounds okay so even at your workplace it's more international so there's the city is you all have about of people coming in that's it you yeah know, different yeah. kinds of powers yeah. and different That's kind it. of position yeah. different kind of people in the society uh -huh. class yeah all right so i wanted to know the i'm interested in the iranian bank was it was there any difference in operations you know and functions than the other banks not really apart from the fact that they were a smaller bank oh okay um and then they come under the iranian government mm -hmm. but um the bank was actually sanctioned by the un because of the iranian the, the issue they had with iran that is interesting that yeah <laughs> so so what, what happened when when that happened um we were made redundant so yeah oh, wow. it was redundancy so i want to know about that <laughs> was... you you were made redundant yes so did you stay home or did you get a different job that as quickly when... as possible that was when I moved on to do my master's in international banking. Oh, wow. so you took that I opportunity, took opportunity to yes. further your education. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's brilliant. Yeah. That's clever. Okay? Yeah. So um, when did you first realize that you wanted to be a writer? Um, well, it wasn't something that I had planned. Okay. I never ever thought that I would be a writer. But when I was, um, when I completed my master's, right my the masters in international banking and finance okay. and then you do your dissertation and then the dissertation you bind it and it becomes like a book mm -hmm. right so it's got all your names on it the topic and everything and then you realize that oh so i wrote this i did this you know with all the research materials yeah. and everything um so i thought oh so you could actually write a book <coughs> yourself but um, I had no topic in mind actually until I read an article on Ghana Web mm -hmm. and it was talking about how graduates find it difficult um, to, get a job. to get a job mm -hmm. after, after the education. Okay. And I was thinking that, that that was, you know, because you can actually <coughs> plan mm -hmm. or even start a job, a business. Yourself. You can start a business yourself, yourself whilst yeah. you are in uni. Mm -hmm. So by the time you come out, you'll be an employer rather than a frustrated graduate looking for employment. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's a clever that's idea. It. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and because everything was inbuilt, <laughs> like, like I had, yeah. like I, 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 I started writing on that, you know, just to help them okay yeah so mm -hmm. on the same day i started writing and i had about a thousand words and that was the beginning of my writing oh, and wow. that was my first book. first book yeah the student entrepreneur let's see that yeah book. the student entrepreneur. viewers that's the book yeah the student entrepreneur yeah so please grab a copy and there are so many loads of relevant information in it that is really going to help you in your day-to-day -day life if you really want to come out shining as an entrepreneur so wow so how long did it take you to write your first book my first book didn't take long mm -hmm. because the topic that i was writing about was something that i was passionate about okay and everything was in there it just had to come out it took me about just a little bit over six months mm -hmm. and that was because um, the publishing process was added on because I wanted a good quality 
job, right? Mm -hmm. And like everything I do, I want someone to pick up my book and go like, wow, this is a good book. And a book that you can not find any fault. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I normally pay for editing. So the process is like content editing, mm -hmm. right? The publishers will do content editing. Before you go on, yeah. please viewers out there, this information that he's given, she's given, is really very, very important. So listen to it properly. How to get around your book when you want it published. So listen to it carefully, please. Yeah. 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 So um, I pay for content editing. Mm -hmm. Content editing. Content, yes. Yeah. And um, no, content evaluation. Content yes. evaluation. It will be... Mm -hmm. Your manuscript will be evaluated okay. before they move, in, move it on. So they will check for quality mm -hmm. and grammar, grammar, that's right. And, and then make sure that, that it's mm -hmm. like, you know, you've got a good um, topic okay. and you've done a good job. Okay. Before they will pass it on, like they say, okay, this is, you know, a good topic. You've mm -hmm. done a good job. We will accept this. And then I'll pay for editing. And then the editing is where someone is going to sit down and then put their glasses on and then make sure that they mark everything like to replace this word with this, you know, rephrase this, do this, do that. And then they will, they will send it back to you mm -hmm. to accept it or reject. And even if you reject, you have to give them um, the reason why you reject it and it has to be agreed. Yeah, <laughs> yes. You yeah. just don't want to go there because yes. that is heading. Yeah. Because you think, mm. why would I want to pay somebody to yeah. work for me and uh, then they, frustrate come, back, you as they well. come back to frustrate me? <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 yeah. It's but very, if, you very... want, if you want a good job, right? Yeah. If you want to, if you want the book to come out mm. well, I believe you, you have because they keep coming back, coming back, them. coming back. Yeah. It, it was like, wow, why, yeah. what, what was the reason why I paid that kind of money yeah. to be edited and mm. then they bring it back to you to check? You check for what? Just get on with the job and do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> just carry on. Sometimes they do that because they don't, they want it to be aligned to your, to the original purpose of writing that 